that means you don't use any other other than your arms because I can arm bar you enough to where you can go in compliant. And it's simple and it goes away in a second. Is choking nope. any part of choking? Nope. No, no. So when you see somebody that's got their whole body weight on a person and they choking them at the same time and they telling them stop resisting and I can barely even talk because you're choking me. You know, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. And I, and I, and, 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 and um, if you if you um, I don't know where it was, but it was somewhere where a sergeant had was choking a person. Mm -hmm. Young, young um, sister that was an officer. We seen. It. Yeah, we did a video on it. What she do? Sunrise. That was down yep. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and, and what, what did she do? Exactly what she supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Pull that officer off. Yeah. What she supposed to do? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. That's and the, and the officer turned around and attacked her. Yeah. She was trying so to calm him down. Yeah. That's what you are supposed to do, brother. Whatever happened? Now you remember what happened in the officer? I think that officer got either a. I know he was fired. Mm -hmm. I'm almost for sure he was fired. Don't, his don't last name was on, Please. I think, I think his was, last name was Christopher Please or something. Something like that. Police. Police. That was his last name. Name Police. I think he was. I think, think he, he was. I think he was discharged. I think he was yeah. fired. But and he told everybody to turn their cameras off. Yeah. 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 So what'd that tell you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd that tell you? Let me, let me tell you something. What a problem I got with that is that when they fired him, they should make sure that he can't go down the road and get another job. That's True. A, that's, True. A, that's a huge True. problem. And okay. I'll tell you something else that a lot of people have problems with mm -hmm. is that, you know, person goes and uh, kills somebody. And they're suspended with pay. Now, uh, now how does that make sense? <laughs> well, I will say this. You, you're supposed to be, and hit me with your good ears again. You want to make sure that you do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will say this. I know it's kind of hard for the public. Because if it's something that's obvious and you see it, yeah. you're like, oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just got it. That's just procedure. Yeah, and yeah. that's okay. something that's just procedural-wise. Yeah. You know what's been happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you never, ever want them to go to court. Mm -hmm. Especially if they did wrong and you saw it and I saw it and everybody mm -hmm. saw it, they go to court and they get off on the technicality. Right. So you yeah. want to make sure that you do your due diligence. Yes, and that's unfortunate. That's just part of it. Yeah. You have to have the, and I, and I know me saying this ain't going to bring somebody's baby back. Right. Ain't going to bring my mama back. Ain't going right. to bring nobody's um, daddy back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I would rather for me to do my job. And yeah, okay, I'll give you a little cheese while I'm doing my job. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I'm finished mm -hmm. and I got it together and said, we're going to put this boogie in jail for murder. Right. You ain't going to do nothing but be elated because now you can't wiggle out of it. You're going to either have to, you're going to either A, going to go to trial and I'm going to mm -hmm. put your butt in jail for the rest mm -hmm. of your life. Mm -hmm. Or B, you're going to plead. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it sucks. But that's just procedure. And unfortunately, that's how it goes. Yeah. Right. yeah. In your opinion, mm -hmm. why are so many officers, when they're dealing with people in the black community, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why is the deadly weapon the first option in most cases? When you I have know. taser, a billy club, yeah. mace, and you know, it seems that when you're dealing with Mm -hmm. uh, not you, but you know what I'm saying. Right, 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 what, right, right. what we see is when they dealing with somebody black, the first option is is the gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Now we've seen cases where they could be dealing with a person, and this person got a gun, and you won't pull your gun, and and you you know true, you showing restraint. I got you. But too often we see when officers are dealing with black people, the first option is that fire. They going right for the deadliest weapon that they got on. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, why is that? Culture. Not understanding our culture. Not understanding that we talk with our hands. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm a cop. I talk with my hands. Mm -hmm. Black black men, if you ever, uh, how do we talk? Right. We always we move our hands. Yeah, we, we animated. Hands. Oh, yeah. We oh, yeah. always move our hands. And we're taught as police officers that your hands will kill us. Mm -hmm. So, now, going back to your question. Why do most officers, I don't think most officers do, but I said the officers that, I, that, that I've that i seen that you are talking about mm -hmm. is because of culture. Mm -hmm. Because they don't understand the black culture. Me and you talked about, we talked about this offline. Get out the car. Mm -hmm. Get out there and get in front of the community. Yeah. Talk to the community. Go to Pig, um, Piggly Wiggly. Go to these different um, Save a Lot. Go to the Wendy's. Go to the McDonald's. Go to the um, the different places that we congregate and get to know us. Stop sending a car riding through and not involve yourself. Get into the involved and, and, and instead of going home, mm -hmm. get involved with these community things that goes on in the black community right. that you 
actually patrol yeah. mm -hmm. and find out about us because yeah. we don't have time to teach everybody about culture. I'll give you another story. As a, an investigator, I found out that in the Middle Eastern culture, you don't talk to the woman. Even if I'm an investigator and I need to talk to the woman, the man is the head. So he going naturally going to get in front of me, dealt with this. Get in front of me, what, what, what can I help you with? I need to talk to her. Understood that. Had to understand it. So what I did is, okay, sir, I understand that you need to be here, but I need to talk to her. Mm -hmm. And I need, and I position myself enough to where she can't look over at him, but he's still in the room. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All it is is a cultural understanding of how we are and how we react to different, different situations. Again, look at the history of African Americans with the police. Mm hmm. It's not been good. No, no. Okay, it, it has not been good. That, that, I, I hate the, the elephant in the room. Like everything is great, and I'm not trying to throw no brother and sister that in law enforcement because we have some wonderful, wonderful law enforcement yeah. officers yeah. in this community. Do mm -hmm. you hear me? Yeah. That do wonderful things and do wonderful job. But at the end of the day, when we talk about the three percent, the one on the third, the third I, one. I was about to bring that up. The yeah. one, the third yeah. ones. Yeah, we need to we need to weed them out because them are the ones who are not getting out, who are not talking to anybody in our community, who go home and act like they done saved the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When in fact, you couldn't have talked to that young black man instead yeah. of giving him a darn yeah. ticket? Yeah. Yeah. You mean to tell me you could have yeah. went get got out when they was at the basketball court, mm -hmm. you got to get out like you missed a bad, bad body? Mm -hmm. Why not get out and play and throw the ball and, and mm -hmm. trip with him and they yeah. laugh at you and like, man, yeah. you know, I got my belt on. Yeah. Let me take my belt off. You know, I come back out, I get y'all. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know? yeah. And that's a banter. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. 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 There's nothing wrong with that. But what we do, get back in the car. Y'all make sure y'all, you know, leave before uh, the light, you know, some stupid stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. fact, now you're inciting, I yeah. call it. Right. Now you're inciting a, a, a feedback that's probably going to be negative. Negative. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, from what you're saying, why do they go to that? Because I think it's a cultural thing. I think because you don't understand sometimes what's going on. Mm -hmm. And because if I go to that, what, what's the first thing I'm going to do if, and for example, I pull you over. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how you feel, how y'all feel. If, if I pull you over for a simple traffic stop and one person, I'm the only one that's there, but then four or five show up, how you feel? Yeah. Man. How you feel? How you yeah, feel? Yeah. What they about to yeah, do yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Y'all need yeah. all this? How you yeah. feel? You yeah. know what I mean? How you yeah. feel? Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I've already determined that there is no issue and there is not going to be any issue and it's in Piggly Wiggle parking lot, mm -hmm. you might, and, and Lord knows, please don't let me, you would say your son? Mm -hmm. Lord knows I don't want your son to be in there. Now, right. guess what he looking at? Mm -hmm. well, what's going to happen to my dad? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's going on? Yeah. Now, if there's a reason for me to have three or four, four five, I can do that. Yeah. But it take nothing for me to say, I'm 10-4. Everybody can go ahead and leave. Yeah. So if now you feel like. I can relax. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. That's all you want, man. Yeah. It's yeah. not hard. It's not hard to say that. Yeah. It's not hard to do that. Because even with that one, you're still in that situation. Regardless, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you talked about the three. Can you for? Can you explain yeah, your one, absolutely. two, and three? One, two. Absolutely, absolutely. You have what I call the three types of police officers. I've, I've always found in my career, my career, you have the first. The first police officers are the ones that actually are doing it mm -hmm. for the reason to be the peacekeepers. The biblical, the biblical word of peacekeeping mm -hmm. to catch you at your worst to try to get you back whole. Mm -hmm. There are more of them than than the other ones that I'm going to describe to you. Mm -hmm. They are here to make sure that they take care of you, your family, and make sure that you're safe, that you can walk these streets and you ain't never got to worry about somebody hurting you, robbing you, or doing anything to you. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones who, when they leave their job, they go home, maybe get a little sleep if they're on the night shift, get up, and they go, they work out, but then they go to the south side and they part of this community action or this community action. They're part of the community. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's the key. You're part of the community. You're not separating yourself off. It's us against the world type of mentality. Now, that, here we go with the second one. Mm -hmm. The second one's all, I just do my job. Yeah. Right. Not bad, not good. I just do my job. Yeah. Oh, but did you say I ain't seen nothing? Yeah. I don't know what happened. Just a paycheck. I'm just, I, look, yeah. bro. Yeah. I need that to drop in my um, account. Yeah. On Friday. That's yeah. all That's I it. need yeah. to do. Every other Friday. I, I don't yeah. want to. I, I, well, did you see that hat? I don't see. I ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. No. Now, the first one's going to say, nope, he did it. It's time to get them off the street. Mm -hmm. This one, I, don't, I ain't seen nothing. Yeah. Mm. 
They ain't gonna give no information. They just wanna do their job. Mm. And then the third, don't know, and thank God there are a minimal amount of these, but these are the ones who highlight and make us look terrible. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they survive as long as they did. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they even have a badge. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they still got a badge. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones who are bullies. Mm -hmm. Right. Number one. Yes. Them are the ones who don't want to learn about the culture. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones who stay in the car, don't want to get out for nothing to talk to nobody. Mm -hmm. Them are the ones who every time they see uh, a black man betrayed in their negative sense, that's how they really are. Mm. Do the police police the police. We should. When you see those, we that should. tree type. We should. We should. And say, hey, look here, man, you're going to wind up making someone else get hurt by your foolish actions and, and the way you police. We should. I'm going to tell you just like this. We should. Now, there are officers that do. Mm -hmm. we, so we just talked about that sister who like, hey, down in Sunrise. Right. What's going on with you? What you doing, man? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know yeah, that's wrong? Yeah, what right. you doing? Uh -huh. There are, God bless, there are a lot of officers. I wish I could say more than, but there are more officers in that middle one, what I sold on that too, right. than it is on that aspect of mm -hmm. stop. Because look, what did you see in Sunrise? How many officers y'all saw there? It was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah, who would only want to say anything? Yeah, one. One. yeah, you're right. You're right. So that did that just answer my question? Right. Yeah, that's, that's right. true. So you see one mm -hmm. out of that that said, hey, stop, what you doing? Mm -hmm. When in fact, all the rest of them were like, Ain't yeah. seen nothing. Yeah. I don't, right. I don't know, yeah. I don't yeah. know what you're yeah. talking about. I, I ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. But that's just as bad as you not yeah. doing anything and getting yeah, hurt exactly. somebody. Absolutely. So my thing is, what I'm finding, and, and to, to, to the credit to my young officers, I love them to death. Young officers ain't tolerating that no more. Mm. I'm seeing an uptick, and I know y'all may, may not believe this, but I see an uptick of them saying, no, I'm not doing that. Mm. That's wrong. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. It, it's great. Yeah. It's yeah. like, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. my, my age, they're like, oh, well. Officer Dudley, if I'm doing something wrong, that I don't know if that's right. Mm -hmm. They're questioning. Right. That's wonderful. Right. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. A lot of them may get out simply because they don't want to just go with the status quo. They're questioning, yeah. why right. am I doing this? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you were saying, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? What is my purpose? So when they figure out that this is my purpose, I'm questioning everything you're doing and making sure that it is procedures, making sure you ain't doing nothing that's stupid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I'm still betrayed and they're more involved. So they get out there in the community. So they talk to people because they got friends that are multicultural. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm seeing from this younger generation. Mm -hmm. And I love it. That's I good. love it. Yeah. So they're getting rid of those old, don't want to do nothing. And I don't want to necessarily say old because there's young ones too that just want to start foolishness. Right. That's what I call it. Just start foolishness. I'm the police, jump out the car. I, yeah. You know the portrayal of, of the jump out the car with the glasses on? Uh -huh. And I'm the police. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to do what I say? Yeah. True, yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trying to get yeah. rid of those. Yeah. yeah. I'm the man with all the power around oh, yeah. Right. 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 And, and in fact, the old addict is I enforce the law. I am not the law. Yeah. Right. That's it. Actually, a bit of a hot topic. Talk to uh, me. The Tyree Nichols situation out there and those black cops. How did that make you feel? <sighs> Brother, knowing that you're a law enforcement brother, officer and brother, you got listen. six brothers that done that brother like that. Yeah. I don't even want to call them brothers. They, they, uh, you got six I, males. Yeah. 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 Brother, on on every level, let, let, me, let me hit it on every level. I'm not going to get into um, too deep into it because it just hurts my feelings every time I talk about it. First of all, you know the situation mm -hmm. as officers. You're in this task force and you know the situation. So, and they were part of the, the Divine Nine, and I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm not going to go no further than that because I don't want to throw nobody under the bus. Yeah, yeah. So, that telling me you have an education on knowing what the community does and what you need to be doing in the community. So, you just threw that all away yeah. and decided to hurt and kill this black man in the most heinous way you <sighs> can do it. Yeah. So, that type of evil, I, I can't even describe that, brother. But unfortunately, we have, and I have, in my travels, saw brothers just like that. Mm. Mm. That is terrible. Let me tell you what. The brother that you saw, remember, remember Boys in the Hood? Mm -hmm. remember, remember that scene? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which one? Oh, oh, oh you talking about the cop. He talking about the cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, the, the brother up there, yeah, yeah. the yeah. gun, uh -huh. and yeah. he was mm, just like that. Just like that. And I just could not believe it. I'm in classes with some of these boogies. 
And I'm like, can you can you really be that way? Because you know how you get surreal sometimes. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That just can't be right. Yeah. There ain't no way yeah. in the world. No, nah, bro. Just don't add up. There are people yeah. like that. And I'm looking at, you You forgot where you come from mm-hmm. and how you stood on backs of some people to help you get through the academy and through all this. And now all of a sudden you done switched it because this is what you think is right. Mm-hmm. That hurt me to my heart, brother. Mm-hmm. When I when when you see when you see that when you see that video, it's yeah. just awful, yeah. man. Yeah, it's just awful. I mean, the utter disrespect that these brothers had, like you said, I can't even call them. Money, yeah, whatever you want to call yeah. them, mm-hmm. had to this young man. I don't care what he did. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what he did unless he pointed a gun, which he never did. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Yeah, right. You mad? Mm-hmm. You done got so mad that you that he done they tried you or whatever. It's okay. That that behavior it, it was so reckless and unimaginable. Let me just put it like right. that. Mm-hmm. But it happens, and there yeah. are and there are black cops that are out there like that. Mm-hmm. No, no, mm-hmm. no, no. Yeah, unfortunately. The police chief, I think her name is C.J. Stroud. I think so. Don't get me. Don't yeah. don't get me the line to you. Yeah, she's up for <laughs> reinstatement. You think she should be reinstated? I think that there should be. If she knew what these guys were doing and did not do anything to stop it, mm-hmm. she should not. Mm-hmm. If she didn't know mm-hmm. and was 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 um, and again, this is this is my opinion. If she did know, yes, she should not be reinstated. If she did, it, 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 well, excuse me, if she did know, she should be reinstated. If she didn't know in her, the ones under her did, mm-hmm. they should be gone. Yeah. Right. And then it's like, okay, we're going to revamp our whole department image because this is not what we're about. Mm-hmm. Right. Because at the end of the day, yeah, sometimes you have to get rid of folks. And mm-hmm. sometimes they have to start with the top. Mm-hmm. It's just like a head coach of a football team. Oh, yeah. If you ain't oh, yeah. winning, what you going to do? Time to go. It's an image. Yeah. You got an image that you got to portray, man. And my thing is, First of all, these cops now, guess what? I go out there. Let me say I go out there. I never get no respect. No matter if I'm a good person or not, they always going to look at black cops right. as yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. yeah. That yeah. makes it You dangerous. ain't black, you blue. Make it real that dangerous. That makes it dangerous for me. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah, if she, if she knew, mm-hmm. if she knew, no, she should not be reinstated. If right. she did, whoever was under her that didn't let her know, gone. Yeah. Mm. You know, she was in some type of trouble up here in Atlanta, and then she got that position out there so, in Memphis. Right. And see, that's what and see, that's my next question. What happens? How do like if you get in trouble <laughs> in one town, mm-hmm. they find it. Hey, look here, man, you was doing something you ain't got no business doing. Mm-hmm. You fired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that certification work? I mean, is that certification just good? Do they do anything? It, it, it's depending upon what because happens. Sometimes even a teacher, if a teacher get fired somewhere, you can't teach yeah, you can't no teach well. Forever, the certification is gone. What happens, man, is it, it depends upon if they give you the right to resign. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, they give you the right to resign, you keep your certification. Mm-hmm. Now, my thing is this. There are times that that police officers do stupid stuff and they resign because of things that they did. May not and I have to say this because I know some people like this, that they did something that was procedurally wrong. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, they were good cops. They did wrong. They admitted it. And they kept their certification. That's cool because they'll go and they'll go to another department, do wonderful. Mm-hmm. Never had no issues, learn from it, and move on. I know cops like that. Mm-hmm. that I will, they come to my house anytime, chill. But the ones who do something that's really heinous, that we talked about, mm-hmm. the ones like that sunrise, and he goes somewhere soon as the investigation. I know we just talked about it, and he got to do the investigation. He's still getting paid, unfortunately. Yeah. He's still getting paid. Never. He should be the certification, and, and, and the certification, they go through the process, should be revoked. That should be an automatic. Most of the time it is. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Now, I can't speak for other states, but I know Florida, most of the time, if it's something that's real heinous, they, they pretty much going to revoke your, your, your uh, certification. You won't be able to be a cop. No way. You like choking somebody out. That's, right. that's a physical thing. You, yeah, yeah. Hurt, you could kill that person. So, yeah. no, you, you got to go. Yeah. This ain't for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if that young, if it's a procedural thing with her, they probably gave her a chance to resign. But my thing is, if she hadn't used that, 
to help her better herself. Mm -hmm. So if you start seeing a pattern, then why in the world? Yeah, I, right. I agree with you. Why are you hiring her? If you see a pattern of misconduct, then that's a problem. If there's no pattern, then okay, if she made a mistake, everybody make a mistake. Okay, give her a shot because she does have experience. But if there's a pattern, and I, like I said, I don't know. I want to research her before I make a make a because I don't like the money quarterback. But if she did have a pattern of there's a problem every time she goes somewhere, you know, we might need to look at might not hiring her. You know, that's mm -hmm. the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. um, because again, your image is depending upon your head. Right. If I look at your head and every time I turn around, there's a there's a skeleton coming out that closet dealing with law enforcement and and, and how your officers act, mm -hmm. then that might be might be reason that you need to hesitate in putting her in a position. Right. But again, it's all about who you know, brother. Right. Another conversation that we've had. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just say, because like you say, you profile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People profile. Yeah. You know, officers profile. Yeah. You see your brother walking down the street. He's a stereo, stereotypical person that you may think mm -hmm. does whatever, but he's not. Okay. Or she's not. Well, we'll say he. Most okay. times it's a he. Okay. All right. And, you know, you hit your, woo, you know what I mean? Pull over. Hey, brother, you know, what you want? Hey, uh, what are you doing out here? I'm, I'm, I'm walking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh. Can I see some ID? Have no right to ask it. No right to ask. He no ain't right got to show nothing. He ain't got to show no ID uh, if, unless he's doing something articulate. Now, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Always remember reasonable person. Let's say you in a you in a high drug area. You walk, you walking in a high drug area. Mm-hmm. Right? You, mm -hmm. you just walking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just walking. I can I can have uh, contact with you. That don't necessarily right. mean I have to. But see, that always goes back to what I just told you. Mm-hmm. You have to be articulate in how you approach it. If I come to you, the cop or the uh, the cop. Okay. Because if you just walk, you just walking. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, if you just walk, you just walking. Yeah. I can't just arbitrarily <laughs> stop you because you just <laughs> right. walking. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can give. Hey, what's up, big dog? You need a ride? Yeah. What's going on? It's kind yeah. of dangerous out here, bro. I don't want you. Yeah. Bro, I want you walking by yourself. Yeah. Uh, you know mm -hmm. what, what? What's going on? Where you headed? You going to get? Uh, you going to get you some? Get you some to drink? So, me and him got a banter. My thing is, but do you ever notice that I haven't asked for no ID? Yeah, yeah. But now, that officer could, could come back and say, hey, well, we've had some reports of uh, car break-ins here lately. You know, uh, can I see some ID? If, if you have had within, let's say, let's say you have, okay, for craps and giggles, yep. Yeah. Somebody's been breaking in cars. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, man, is it is it any way possible? I don't want to profile you. Because I don't mind saying that. Yeah. I don't want to profile you, but you are at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. You're walking What you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you, yeah. I said, listen here. In the neighborhood, I said, everybody sleep. Why yeah. are you the only one on the uh -huh. road? Yeah. I thought, man, I just wanted to walk. and I want, But just give him a chance to, to, to tell me why he's walking. And yeah. he hit you with, I'm minding my business. You need to mind your get away from me. All right. No problem, brother. Mm -hmm. You have a nice night. That's it? That's it. Now, most times we don't see that. No, you don't. You don't. But at the end of the day, if you're minding your business, I don't have any reason mm -hmm. other than in the past. If I don't have no description, I don't have no... Now, it's different if I get a description and it's clothing and stuff like... Yeah. yeah. Because now, okay, bruh, you got on blue jeans and a, a, a orange shirt. He got on blue jeans and an orange shirt. No, you ain't leaving. You know, but if it's just a week ago... Mm -hmm. And I happen to be patrolling, mm -hmm. and it's two or three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I. You don't have the right. I can have a encounter with you, right? And you can tell me to kick rocks. Right. And I have to kick rocks, mm -hmm. right? But well, now, I don't have to show you. No, you I don't. Did. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't. But guess what? I can do. What's that? I can make you feel uncomfortable because that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Unfortunately, right. what's gonna happen to make you feel uncomfortable that you're gonna go and either a you're gonna walk back to where you were, mm -hmm. or b that cop going to follow you right? all the way down. Right. Is that right? Is that wrong? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably not. Because if my aspect is, I'm just making sure that there's no issues with you, first of all, with you as mental state. Because sometimes, brother, if you're walking 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you're trying to sort through some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Blow I, some steam I, my, my thing, my thing, and see, this is me again. I want to help you. Look, yeah. man, if you're trying to sort through something, you need somebody just to talk to? Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. No, nah, man, I just need to... 
I don't need to talk to y'all. And the last time I talked to yeah. y'all, y'all tried to hear me up. Yeah. I said, okay, I ain't going to try to hear me up, bro. Yeah. But just understand, I'm going to be out here on the street, mm -hmm. and right. I'm going to make sure there ain't nobody going to be breaking in nobody's car or the house. Yeah. I'm yeah. just letting you uh -huh. know that yeah. up front. Yeah. So you might get stopped again, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let everybody know that you out here just walking, okay? Right. Yeah. I just want you to know that up front. Then you, I leave you, you, you gonna tell your colleague you gonna get on? Yeah, and say, listen, that's my man is walking. I right. already done stopped him. Right. He ain't did nothing right. wrong. He yeah. just walking. Yeah. 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 See? When life switched to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad you can explode, hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. Defend this line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. When life switched to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad you can explode, hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. Defend this line straight yeah. ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. Yeah. Well, it's with a badge. I never get a pass. We can see straight through your mask. You made a glass, homie. Just think before you do the dash, cause it might be your last. Lay you in that grass. Face down, you should have put your hands up. I promise you, the rather got them handcuffs. Look, we need to change our recreation. Let's focus on some education. How about let's fight for our reparations? How about let's teach our niggas?